We are living through the golden age of dinosaur discoveries. All over the world, a whole new generation of dinosaurs has been revealed. From the biggest giants and the deadliest killers to the weird and the wonderful. From the Arctic to Africa. From South America to Asia. In just the last few years, we have uncovered the most extraordinary fossils, exquisitely preserved and tantalizingly intact. Combined with the latest imaging technology, we have been able to probe deeper and reveal more than ever before. It gives us our first truly global view of these incredible animals. In this program, we examine the new giants, the heavyweights of the dinosaur world. It's only in recent years that we have unearthed the biggest dinosaurs that ever lived. Animals on such a huge scale, it is difficult to comprehend. Just how and why did these titans grow so massive? And could any animal attack such a huge beast? One of these new giants has eclipsed all others. At 35 meters, it was as long as Diplodocus. Yet this dinosaur was seven times as heavy. The first glimpse of this new giant was made in the 1990s during a dig in Argentina. In Patagonia, a fossil was pulled from the ground. It was a single vertebra, but it was as tall as a human being. Other bones followed. They belong to the biggest dinosaur ever known to have walked the Earth. It lived in South America 95 million years ago, in a world very different from our own, a world that is only now giving up its secrets. Throughout the late 1990s, extraordinary dinosaurs were uncovered in Argentina. At one location, a nest site was found, so full of dinosaur eggs that they could barely avoid crushing them underfoot. Some eggs even contained exquisitely preserved dinosaur embryos. Then, in 1999, at the same nest site, a complete adult dinosaur skeleton was uncovered. It appeared they'd found the parent. But first impressions can be deceptive. This isn't the parent. This is a Scorpio venator, a predator. The skeleton found at the nest site was almost certainly a nest raider preying on the hatchlings. The hatchling's real parent and the owner of the enormous vertebra is Argentinosaurus. plant-eating giant that dwarfs everything around it. From the bones that were found, we've calculated that Argentinosaurus was a colossal 35 meters long and weighed as much as 75 tons. When born, 
the hatchlings themselves weigh a paltry five kilograms and need to fend for themselves immediately. From studying the embryos and looking at the bones of the adults, we know that the growth of these giants was phenomenal. Over 40 years, they grow from 5 kilograms to an astonishing 75,000 kilograms. At their peak, it's been calculated they grow up to 40 kilograms every day. The dinosaur embryos are so well preserved we can see they already have their teeth in preparation for a lifetime of eating. But wherever we find giant plant eaters, there is always a giant killer lurking nearby. And sure enough, Another startling discovery was made in Argentina. In the same region, a nearly complete skeleton of an enormous predator was unearthed amazingly well preserved. The skull alone was over a meter and a half long, and when a second, even larger specimen was found, it became clear that this was bigger than any predator that had been found before. Bigger than T. rex. It was clear that giant predators roamed South America as well. And it appeared that Argentinosaurus may have met its match. In fact, wherever giant plant eaters have been discovered, it appears a giant predator lived alongside them. From America to Europe and Asia, we see the same relationship repeated. But there was one place on Earth that remained a mystery. For decades, Africa was the forgotten continent, a huge gap in our understanding of planet dinosaur. Then, in 2000, a cluster of bones was unearthed in North Africa. The bones were huge. One single leg bone was as tall as a human. It seemed this, too, was a land of giants. And that could only mean one thing. There must also be a giant killer. 95 million years ago, this was a dry and difficult place to survive. Food and water were hard to come by and often only found in one place, along the banks of a river that has earned the name River of Giants. This is Paralititan. 45-ton animal and the undisputed heavyweight here. 4 an animal this size is not easy to keep cool, so being near water is vital. But rivers are dangerous places. This is not a good place for a young animal to get stuck. But becoming this big is not easy. It requires some serious eating. Argentinosaurus weighed around 75 tons, times as much. So how did they get enough food? They turn themselves into the most efficient eating machines the world has ever known. 
Everything about them is designed to get the most food in and the most calories out with the least effort. Their long necks give them access to more food without moving. But the way they eat is the crucial bit. These giants don't waste time chewing. They rip and gulp down leaves whole, which are digested by bacteria in its massive gut. Not chewing means it doesn't need a big heavy head with big teeth and muscular jaws. Which also means its neck can grow so long, able to reach food no other animal can reach. Being so big means you're off the menu for most predators. Here, there's a killer in a completely different league. Over 10 meters long and weighing around four tons, this is Mapusaurus, a newly discovered killer on the block. On its own, even it is not a match for a fully grown Argentinosaurus. But this giant killer is not alone. 